what looks like the last question of the night. Hello. Hi. Hi, what's your name? Jacob. And how old are you, Jacob? Nine. You're nine! <laughs> Jacob! I was nine when I first discovered the universe, or actually, the universe discovered me. Right? I was in a planetarium, and they, the lights went out, and the stars came out, and I was nine, and my head exploded. <laughs> Not, it didn't literally explode, my brains weren't over the seat. Yeah, yeah. So, do you have a question? Yeah. Okay. Why don't the humans just shoot a chunk of random material at the asteroid Apophis and to either destroy it or get it out of the collision course with the Earth? I mean, why don't we just bump it out of the way, is what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, basically. okay. So, here's the problem. Here's the problem. <laughs> Here in America, he's a kid, he doesn't need to sit down, he's a kid. I'm a grown-up, I need to sit down. Here in America, we have a lot of bombs and stuff like that, and we're really good at blowing stuff up. And we're not as good at knowing where the pieces go afterwards. So suppose you go and blow it up, and here's this huge asteroid, now it breaks into two chunks. So now that map is not just a chunk burying the west coast of the United States. Now another chunk goes and hits the Atlantic Ocean and buries the east coast of the United States. Now you have to evacuate two coasts. So, yes, you want to completely destroy it? That's just harder to know how to do it effectively. So you, you nudge it. You, yeah. You, that comes to the second part of my question, which is, oh, okay. why don't they just shoot like a chunk of rock at? Just go, okay, this is the this is the clipboard is the asteroid, and this is the chunk of rock. And then you have a clipboard? Here. No, okay. folder. No, folder. Just, it's cool. You carry around a clipboard. I'm just saying. Okay, this is the chunk. It just goes here, and it just floats off into space and hits like the sun. Okay. <laughs> okay. So here's another problem. Here's another problem. We don't really know for sure how, how strong the asteroid is in its material. So, so for, uh, what's an example? Um, let's say there's a big pile of dough on the table. Let's just, not, not money dough. I'm talking about like... Cookie like, dough. Yeah, yeah, like, like... Cookie dough. Cookie dough. Or, uh, be, better yet, pancake. No, no, bread dough, okay? So now I want to move the dough out of the way. And I take my two fingers and I push it. What happens to my fingers? They go inside the dough. They don't push the whole dough because the dough is not... Is, the dough it's not, like, is, is, is it's not... not a so, it's a non-Newtonian solid. It is non-Newtonian solid. <laughs> exactly. try to push it, it doesn't, it absorbs your push. So, and we think some asteroids are not solid. Y'all can just go home now, I'm having a conversation <laughs> with the kid. It's not, some asteroids we think are not actually solid, that they're piles of rubble. Well, no, we think they're piles of rubble. But how would it stay together? From its own gravity. That's the thing. So its gravity kind of holds it together as a pile of rubble. But you push over here, this rubble goes away, and this rubble stays. So we don't want to risk the future of our species thinking that the asteroid is a solid object that we can just push. Um. Now, you want to get rid of it. And I said, y'all, okay, I'm still... <laughs> you want to push it and shove it into the sun? There are hundreds of thousands of asteroids out there. That would be a huge job pushing them into the sun. So we think we think it's easier to just keep ducking. Okay? Now I have a second. Why okay. don't they just take a huge sheet of like metal? So yeah. Even if it's a non-Newtonian solid, when it hits it, it'll solidify, and then the chunk of metal won't just go in. 
since it's bigger than the asteroid itself, or might be, or at least as big as, it'll take the entire thing and just push it somewhere else. So what you want is like a big, uh, a, a sweeping blanket. Yes, to, to cap exactly. Thank, thank you. I'm glad I understand what you're saying. So you want a big, you want a big, you want to sweep, a, you want to just sweep away all the bad stuff. That, I mean, maybe one day that's what we'll do. I am, I foresee a future, and you're the right age that you could lead this. Do you want to be the first trillionaire? <laughs> Figure out a way to mine asteroids. They have ingredients that are rare on Earth, but common on asteroids. Platinum, gold, iridium, all these elements that we need in our manufacturing world. You figure out how to mine them, then you know how to go in them, come out of them, move them, deflect them. Then the government, said, tell me your name again. Jacob. So then the government said, hey Jacob, that asteroid you're working on is headed towards Earth. Could you deflect it seven inches to the right? And you say, oh, sure, Mr. President, and you move it seven inches to the right, or to Madam President, you move it seven inches to the, to, the, to the right. And so once you know how to go to asteroids, manipulate them, mine them, move material back and forth, then the solar system becomes your, your sandbox. You can move things around, and there is no longer any fear of impact. And you will not be one of these idiots who were interviewed when the asteroid was coming saying, I'll go get drunk on the beach because you will figure out how to save the world. Thank you, Jacob. And thank you all. Thank you all. Get home safe.